Here we have muscles of the head, starting with the auricularis, which is there, which could also be your temporalis. Next we have the buccinator, which is that area right there. Next we have the carbocator supercilii. <laughs> Can't say which is under the under this muscle, you can't see it. Where the eyebrows would be. Then we have the depressor anguli oris, which is this one, it's angular to your mouth. Then you have the depressor labii inferioris, which is this one right here. So one, two, three. Second one, second muscle. Um, next is the epicranium, which consists of the whole skull area, including the frontal belly, the occipital belly, and then the connective white tissue, which is called the ep yeah, or epicranial aponeurosis. Okay, then you have the um, levator labii superioris, which which is better shown on this model as number four. Was number? Hold on, sorry. As number four, it goes. It connects the eye to the mouth. It's so number four right there. So this area. Okay. Next we have the masseter, which is your cheek. Then you have the mentalis, which is your chin, the first one. Then you have the orbicularis oculi of the eye. And then you have the orbicularis oris of the mouth. And then you have the resorus, resorius, which is uh, horizontal. Um, then you have the sterno, sternocleidomastoid, which is, this is the large muscle that uh, goes from your occipital to your clavicle. Okay, and then you have the temporalis, which we said was the same as the um, auricularis, it's in the same area. And then we have the zygomaticus, uh, major and minor, although on this model you really can't distinguish it. And that is the muscle of the head.